we'll probably be live. I mean, we're probably live right now. Right now. Assuming. Assuming. This is, this is the, the assumption zone where we assume that we're live, so don't say anything too stupid because it's potentially... We really don't know until we get over here and click buttons, right? Well, I... We're we're good. We're good. We are we are live on the internet's. Happy Friday, Jerry. Yeah, Troy. Happy Friday, man. Good to see you, bud. Good to see you too, man. So, uh, how's things been? How's your how's your week? Real good, man. Real good. I um, I took a week off for the first time, and I don't remember how long. Well, I've never. I don't remember the last time I took a week off. And uh, uh, my youngest turned twenty-one, so we went up to Nashville and. Uh, uh, hung out there. It was it was uh, pretty dead because of COVID. So we had our masks on and checked out the strip, and it was cool. But uh, Nashville's great, man. Like I never been, and I don't like it. I'm going back. That's a cool place. Small, great food, trendy, lots of cool shit. Nashville. I like it. Yeah, you can drink on the streets. Well, that sounds awesome. I'm telling you, man, it's a cool place. It's like a little Vegas. I would like I would like a place where I could walk around vaping weed on the streets. Is there a place like that yet? No, that's the downside. Is it's uh, everything everything weed is illegal in Tennessee. Uh, I think you can do high CBD only, maybe, and you don't want to though. No, you, you don't want to have weed there. Uh, so that's the downside. Obviously, I was not in compliance a lot of the time. But uh, you, what <laughs> you were were you walking around vaping the marijuana's? I had I had things I took up. I, t I was up there. You know what? It was interesting. I always like to I always like to share this kind of stuff because I go, OK, I was going away for a week uh, and I was going to power myself and some other people. Um, what did I take? So uh, I took the hybrid because I use that motherfucker all the time. And we're at it. We're at a, you know, a place where there's plenty of room for that, you know, big old Airbnb type thing. So I took the hybrid to handle things. Um, and I took uh, a Dynavap up there to uh, just kind of have cool little moments, which I actually didn't even use. Um, and then uh, I took a, a couple of pins uh, for, you know, out and about because it's the ultimate stealth. And uh, that's what I did, man. I used pins in the, in the, in the volcano all week. It was perfect. Nice. So you, you took the volcano hybrid to, to yeah. Nashville hotel that, room, babe. Yeah, that thing, uh, it, dude, it, it gets used here all the time. So, yeah, because I, 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 if I'm going to take a desktop on the road now, uh, that's going to be a strong contender every time because I use it a lot here. I think it would be hilarious to build a volcano into a backpack to where like <laughs> it would like it would just inflate the backpack itself and then you would have like a little hose to like deflate the backpack. You know, it'd have like a battery, like a oh, little Oh, that's the little... bag. The bag is the back the back yeah, 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 backpack yeah, you, is the balloon. I got have you. Here. Have you seen like those TSA transparent backpacks? Like you yeah. can get like a transparent backpack so you like you can look through it and see everything in it, which I thought would also be awesome for weed, fill that fucking thing with weed. That'd be awesome. Oh, uh, yeah. but, I, but I digress. The the transparent backpack thing, uh, build a volcano, like make a volcano. So just like it fills up the backpack with vapor and then you have a little like from the strap, like a life vest. Dude, that's brilliant. It could double as a life vest. A life, it, stores in Bicol, if you're watching this, you can make a volcano hybrid vaporizer backpack slash life preserver inflatable vest. Get high while saving your life. This that, is brilliant. Right? And right. TSA doesn't have to take it off you. They can just go, no, that's cool. That guy's just saving lives and getting high. Let him through. Precisely. Right? Precisely. Yes. He's just... One half could be see-through weed. The other half could be volcano bag. Dude, that's dope. I love it. You got great ideas, man. All right. I'm going to holler at Stores and Bickle on that. I'm going to steal it. Get, get Stores and Bickle on the uh, volcano backpack immediately. So, Jerry. Jerry, last week. What did we talk about last week? What was our show last week? I was so high that I don't remember. It wasn't the big hitter one, was it? The, the, was it the E-Rigs? We did all the little portable dabs? We did E-Rigs the week before, I think. I think it was heavy hitters. Maybe it was another one. Hmm. You'd think I'd know. No, last week was the ABV. The, the, uh, oh, yeah, the ABV. That was fun, we, man. we talked about vapes that, that go where you, where you can just throw away your ABV. You're not saving your ABV. Uh, before that, we talked about heavy hitters, and, and when, we're when we were doing heavy hitters, we got a lot of questions about our risers. People were like, "Like, what's the difference between this and my Ariser Solo 2? The Ariser Solo 2 is a, a very popular vape. Mm -hmm. So I kind of thought tonight we could dedicate the whole episode to all of the Ariser portables. And uh, because they're extremely popular, they're, they're really well made. There, there's not a lot of bad things about them, but yet 
when I'm vape, when I watch you vape, when I'm session with you, when I'm session, I never reach for the arisers and I never see you vaping on the the arisers. Mm -hmm. And that sends a bad signal. And, and, and it's not necessarily that the arisers are, are a bad product. It's there's, there's something else going on and it's hard to explain. I'd like to spend some time dwelling around the ariser portable topic tonight. Fantastic. Cause I feel the same way. Um, the, uh, the extreme Q here, was uh, was my first vape back in um, February, I think, 2008. Uh, 2008. It came out late 2007, and I was trying to choose between, uh, well, anything. There wasn't much. There was the $700 Volcano. This thing had just come out for 300 bucks. It was like a vape pollution out there, maybe one other, one other vape. And uh, I bit the bullet and spent 300 bucks on this. You guys can get it now for like 180 all day long. But um, man, I'm glad I did. It's a jack of all trades. I got to play with whips and bags and figure out what I like. And my next desktop was a Silver Surfer, and it was, but I wouldn't have known I needed that had I not had this first. And um, yeah, I mean, and the damn thing is still one of the best-selling vapes today. Uh, it's crazy. It's been 12 years now, and it's it's going strong. So, so yeah, the, like you said, they got a plethora of portables here we can play with as well. So, you, so the EQ came out in 2008. Is that when that came out? I think it came out in 07 and I bought it in 08. Yeah, did it, it, was come like, out, it came out late 07, I think. Did it come out at the same time as the V Tower? Because I know the V Tower was, was like their first vape, or at least from what I understand, it was their first vape. I think the V Tower was out before, but not by long. And I, I don't know for sure. Uh, so okay. nobody quote me on that or give me shit. But, um, but yeah, I think the V Tower was out for a little bit before, maybe six months to a year. I'm not sure. And then, and then this came out late 07 um okay and the v tower is the same thing just no fan right no fan no lights uh no um obviously no bags then no remote uh so you know, it's, it's got whip. it's got everything you need for the whip vape. it's basically this is a whip vape only okay and that's still available and that's only 114 dollars right that's, that's crazy it's basically a box vape uh and a good one a real good one reliable yeah yeah so a riser has been around for at least 13 years. They've been, yeah. they're Canadian and mm -hmm. uh, they're, they, they seem to be pretty popular in, in Canada. I know a, a lot of my, <laughs> my Canadian friends were, were on the, the riser solo. My, my best friend in, uh, in Canada uh, before we, we were, we were friends before we even knew they were both stoners. Like we, we were friends via the barbecue space, the vintage Weber scene. We were friends and we actually met up and cooked together and stuff when he was in California. And then later on found out that we were both into cannabis and we were both into cannabis vapes. So small world, but oh, he yeah, was, that's crazy. Yeah. And uh, he, he was an Ariser solo too, or he was an Ariser, just, just, a, just a regular solo back then. But yeah, that was, that was his vape. And, well, there was probably. Yeah. And, and it was, it was similar to the PAX thing. Like, you know, when you meet somebody that, that has a PAX vaporizer, they know about weed vapes and they equate it to the packs. Yeah. To them, there are no other weed vapes. They're just unfamiliar with that whole market. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of these Ariser solo and the Ariser people were the same. Like they, they were introduced to the Ariser as, hey, there's this product that is an alternative to smoking. It's called the Ariser. You know, I, I think there was like some steps skipped or just the way they were introduced to vaporizing. Uh, presented a, a limited viewpoint and people people latched onto the Ariser and and rightfully so man uh, the Arisers are, are kick ass for for what they are I the only thing I can ever complain about is how long it takes me to get high with one because in reality it, it's kind of a perfect vape on paper right it's got the the glass vapor path and at the time in the in the history of of the vape industry, like when, when dry air vapes were kind of just starting to popularize in, in the 2010s, people were all about the glass, yeah? Definitely, definitely. All about the glass. Glass and convection is what we've been banging on on, on the web for years. And, and uh, we've got glass everywhere, which is great. But um, no, you're right, man. I mean, they're popular because they're, they're such a great fucking value. I mean, Look, man, this thing, this is my original solo. Uh, my, this is one of my first five vapes ever. Um, and it's got the, it's got the, uh, I don't know if you'll see, but it's got the black ceramic bowl in there. The, the first few runs were ceramic bowls. Um, and, wow. you'll be able to see it. and then uh, 
this is this is my original edge TNT stem for it. That's back when he was using uh, those fucking pins and nail them in place instead of O rings to hold the tips on. And um, man, I hit this for years, but dude, when they came out, this thing was like I, I want to say like two hundred and seventy bucks, you know. And the fact that you can get one of these for like a, a buck ten or a buck fifteen, or you know, on, or even uh, when you get it on sale, even less than that, you know. So. It's just the value is crazy. Um, they last forever. I changed the battery in this one myself. So this is the second battery it's on. Uh, it just keeps on going and fucking going, man. It's crazy. That is that is awesome. My my original Ariser Air and my original Ariser Solo are also still going. I don't have them here. I, I loaned them out because they were just collecting dust on my shelves. And me being trying to trying to be like a, a vaporizer evangelist, I had friends who you know wanted to try. And I just like sent them home with the Ariser because it's so dependable, it's so easy for most people who smoke at home, who just like smoke a little bowl here and there, or smoke a one hitter or smoke a joint, and they want to get rid of the smell, they want to get more out of their weed. This is this is an extremely, extremely easy to relate to interface. You know, you, you pack your little bowl, you put your bowl in the vape, and then you just suck on the mouthpiece i'm gonna vape now actually jerry yeah i'm with you it's kind of like a, a portable box vape you know what i mean if this is your box and you take the wand you load your wand and you stick it up in there and so it's kind of a simple concept except you know the mating's a little different but um man you're right the taste is always real good i mean what i like about it is when i let when i let somebody hit this i know that the vapor is going to be represented well you know what i mean um it's it's going to taste fucking great uh it's going to have good effects it's really pure um, and it's easy to use, like you say. I mean, you can burn yourself if you if you if you don't understand that you're pulling hot glass and metal out of this thing. But um, they're fucking great, man. Uh, you know, you and I talk about. How, I think we even talked about it at one point the other week when we were talking about this show. Is it that they're, they're the best vapes that, that you and I don't use? <laughs> yeah. And and you alluded to it there. You know, as far as you know, you don't reach for them much because because you don't have to vape a whole lot. Um, these bowls hold. When I pack it optimally, the way I think is, is, is the way I like to use it, it's holding at max 0.15 grams. And there was a time when that was good for me, but that was about 12, 10 years ago. And, uh, you know, when, when you vape as regularly and as, and as much as we do, eh, I go through two or three of these. And um, a riser designed these. Uh, the, original, the original Air and Solo don't have adjustable timers. Uh, they're eight-minute timers. And they... They literally think eight minutes is the optimum time for extraction in this environment. And so that's why they, they, they have no apologies. It's an eight minute timer. And, uh, well, great. That's 30 minutes. If I want to get to where I'm going to be, <laughs> so, <laughs> right. it's not always convenient that way, but, but for, for the normal person, this is, this is a solid contender for just about everybody. I mean, really for the normal person, this is going to be great. Yes. And I, I think, I think what happens is, enthusiasts we're, we're surrounded by vapor vaporizer enthusiasts like a lot of the people that are most engaging are people who love vaporizers and want to have eight nine ten fifteen thirty of them you know they're they're vape geeks they 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 love the different experiences not not all vaporizer users are are in are going to fall into that that vast tunnel. They're not going to fall down the rabbit hole of, of collecting vapes or buying three or four vapes. I do think that there's a great benefit to owning multiple vapes because each one can provide different experiences and it's just like owning different pipes and different bongs. But I feel like a lot of people just want to have a vaporizer so they can vape weed at home as an alternative to smoking. And I think the Ariser is probably the best vape that can fit that niche for people who only want to have one vape i could see that i mean i think you were telling me the night you knew somebody who that was their vape and then they had it forever and it worked forever and then what was their next vape the solo two <laughs> it was like this, yeah exactly he, the, it was like that was that was my best friend matt he he had the solo he replaced the battery in it twice so he he had, had this vape so long that the battery failed he replaced the battery in it twice. And then when the Solo 2 came out, he was he went out and bought the Solo 2. And I was like, bro, you got to buy a Mighty. I'm like, please, 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 please buy a Mighty. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And he goes, ah. He's like, I love my Solo. It's just so tasty. It just works so You know, it's just, yeah. it was it. Like, he didn't have vast at all. At all. No, man. Like, he, He's all about the plant. I love him. 
it was it was it's a remarkable journey because now you know now he's vaping on an SSV43 and a Rio and a G43 and Sticky Bricks and Dynavaps no and shit. a Mighty, but he still pulls out his, his solo too. That's great, man. That's great. Speaking of which, mine's ready yeah. and it's at 410. Well, I'm starting with the original. I'm going to I'm going to my original first five vapes. I'm gonna start with my solo. So I'm gonna be a couple minutes <laughs> waiting for it to eat. I forgot about that too, man. The heat up on the old one. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna be here for a minute. That solo two is the quickest of the bunch, by the way. We, we compare them later. Yeah, like I, dude, it's great looking. Like we'll we'll go over we'll go over the individual models a little later, but this thing is this thing is a, a sexy vape. Like it just it looks looks and feels great in the hand. It's a dope vape, man. I, I know at some point we might talk about different uh, accessories and stems, but this is probably my most used uh, stem. I love this thing. It's a long. It's called I think it's the um, uh, HVPVS or something like that. Basically, it's the high airflow. Mm -hmm. High performance uh, vortex stem from planetvape.ca. The guys up in Canada, Planet Vape. Okay. I, dude, those guys are cool, man. They are always like, like I mean, for like forever, like for ten years, it seems like they've put out custom pieces like this, like third party cool um, accessories that take it a little higher. They've been doing it forever, and I've had this for a long time. But this is a long stem, so it cools well. It's got a a, a disc here with just one little little. Um, hole in the middle so it kind of i don't know i don't, I don't know it just i like it <laughs> so it's going in there man i remember Ooh. that i remember that being a thing everyone was talking about that in the on the fc forums yeah uh, the, the high performance yeah there he's pv yes the planet vape high efficiency stem i think is what it is thanks brown fox how's it going to the chat man what's up guys oh this is great I think I think the uh, those wooden Ed's TNT stems were were a pretty big part of Ed's TNT's success as well. I'm, I could be wrong on that because he he's got a lot of awesome things, and uh, I know his dugouts are super popular and his wood sense is amazing. But I know I know a lot of people who who posted those Ed's TNT solo stems, and I'm kind of jealous that I never I never jumped on that bandwagon. Now well shit so. man we gotta get you on. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good I got I got. You, and now you're showing two of them. Thanks. Oh, I've got I've got five of them here. They're gorgeous. I got I got I got about twenty stems here. I love these things, man. Uh, all kinds of shit. Um, but uh, well, here let's see if I can if I can have it show well here. Uh, no, these these stems, the solo stems, have been Ed's bread and butter for a long time. He has been doing this longer than anybody and better than anybody, and uh, they're fucking dope. I can't get it to. I guess is that the focus zone right about there? Yeah, somewhere in there. Yeah. And uh, wow, look at this one, dude. That's beautiful. I'm not even sure what wood that is. That is nice. Uh, then he's also got like a, a shorter one. And then, I don't know if this bullet one is, is, is he call it the, the solo bullet stem? This little thing right here that's pretty cool. He's got a little short one. Is it double as the WPA? Uh, yeah, all of these taper to 14 millimeters. So let me tell you something, man. I've been pimping Ed stems forever. These things are great. Um, you get that you get, first of all, they're more durable than the glass. Uh, the bowls are bigger. Um, they mate with, uh, with the, with 14 millimeter, um, glass. And, uh, I ended up, um, I could go a temp higher with these than I could with the glass. Uh, so I was able to get more in there at higher temps, uh, with a durable stem that would mate with, with, with glass. They're fucking dope and they're beautiful. I mean, they're just beautiful. They look um, red ass. This was one that he just was playing around with, and I think it was, but it didn't work out. But I mean, he's always innovating, trying new shit. Is that um, when he uh, went to Zimbabwe and poached uh, a rare rhinoceros and used the ivory to make the stem? Is that what that is? <laughs> no, this is just like plastic or PV oh, oh, okay. something or whatever the hell it is. I'm just kidding. Ed would never do something. Ed, Ed is awesome. That's funny. I hadn't thought about that, man, the way it looks. Um, <laughs> this is another one of my favorite uh, solo stems. And I think this one came from Ed, too. I don't know where this came from. Um, but it's a really cool, I'm going to use this later and I'll show you, uh, but I love that one. And there's like w, WPAs, you know, you can get these kind of things, um, glass ones here. Uh, of course, they come with short stems and longer stems and here's a bent stem. You'd be surprised how much cooling that one little bend will do in a, in a, in a stem. I mean, you'll, no it's shit. crazy. It's crazy. No shit. 
if That's you use point. the straight stems and they're too hot grab your bent one I yeah that that used to blow my mind like when I when I switched from this I like I like the straight stem because it's black but the bent stem is so much cooler that that little bend not only does it somehow make the vapor cooler like it it, it forces more thermal transfer in in the same amount of surface area but I think it also forces um, more particulate like more of the organic material to collect on the stem so you're getting less organic material in your throat and in your lungs and more of it's stopping in the stem so it gets dirtier faster noticeably than a straight stem yeah you can you can see that it's it's grabbing the bits that are making it through collecting a little oil and if you use the thing and you put your finger there you'll feel the heat that it's absorbing i mean that little bend is that little bend in the glass is causing a whole lot more contact and absorption yep. and um, this doesn't have a bend, but it's long enough, but, uh, yeah, I, the bend does a lot, man. It's crazy. You know, the first time I encountered glass nipple technology, ouch, was also in the solo stem. Oh yeah. Do you have one of those, uh, uh, uh the, the, the nipple stem? They were called 3d cooling stems, I believe. And I, I don't, I don't have one. Uh, I had one at one point, I think, and I think I tried to use it somewhere else and I broke it and, uh, yeah that but, sucks that'd be a nice one to have man and that was that was early use of of glass nipples for cooling and now they're they're everywhere and everyone's everyone's all touting them but third parties were, were adding i think it was puff it up had added them for uh the solo two or the solo one years ago good stem man i need i need to get one get one made or find one that's a good idea this vape is tasty you know they're it, great the glass is awesome it provides it provides a different tasting experience to your vapor than a lot of other vapes. There's no and and, and I don't like to say that that plastic vapes give any like off gassing or any any flavor. Like I don't I don't I don't hit the mighty and be, and feel like I'm tasting the mighty. But vaping the same weed in the mighty versus the solo, I feel like I'm getting a, a more accurate representation of the terpenes and cannabinoids coming from this all glass vapor path than I am from the the plastic vapor path of the mighty. I agree with you. Uh, when I do them side by side, uh, the mighty's cooler. I do I do feel more heat in the ariser vapor, but um, there's some of the tastiest portables out there, man. Uh, they really are. That no shit. The glass fucking does its job, man, and it just. I mean, when you get down to it, the only thing you got going on here is glass and hot air. So there ain't a whole lot to fuck up. You know what I mean? It's like, it, it just tastes good. Right. So I've been vaping on this. Uh, there's no session timer on the Solo 2. I wish there was. But Yep. I want that so. and haptic. If they had, those are the only two things I'd add. Otherwise, it's perfect. So if I pull this out now, I'll, I'll dump it in my hand so we can we can see what it looks like. So it's still producing vapor, but there wasn't there wasn't a lot of material in there to start with, and it's pretty toasted. Mm -hmm. It's pretty toasted, but it, it it is still producing vapor. What's cool is there's no need no need to stir with the the risers, in my opinion. Uh, I think if you if you stir halfway, you might be able to finish your bowl a little quicker, but you're also gonna lose some material like once 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 you once you start fucking with with that bowl that's hot don't touch that yeah be careful of that yeah i'm just gonna load a fresh one anyway this is awesome i just turned this all the way up just to keep it going because i'd pretty much done all it was going to do it for and i want to see how hot it gets but um yeah dude uh when are we going to show how, to, how we like to pack them? Is it now or later? Because that that that's a lot to talk about what you just said in that moment of packing these things. Let's let's do it now. So because there's there are, are apparently different ways to to pack and load the Ariser portables. I'm going to demonstrate with the solo, and I'm just going to pack straight out of my grinder. And the way I pack is by the way I'm using I'm using this this new uh, this grinder. This grinder is called the Puck Grinder. I'm not sure if you're familiar with this, Jerry. No, but I think you showed it to me once before. I don't have one. It's a new, it's a new threadless 
design grinder. It's only 50 bucks. Oh, nice. I launched a review for it on 420 Vape Zone today. So if you're interested in that, check oh, it out. Oh, cool. All right. I'll check that out. Yeah. Uh, as I as I get it fucking stuck open. <laughs> anyway, I'll, I'll demonstrate here with the puck grinder. I opened the wrong part. I The way I pack is similar to the Dynavap. I, I like to have a little more weed, and I don't want it to fall out. So I I kind of scoop it it scoop it and smush until I know that I can I can feel that it's like falling out, and then I knock it off to flatten it out. Rather than j jamming all that in, I, I knock it off. That way, it's it's kind of packed in there, but it's not overflowing out the bottom because. From within the oven, from from within the oven of the of the solo, or or the uh, riser. Damn, I can't get the focus down in there. Yeah, it's giving it's me a like, hard time. It's like a it's like a metal metal plate, and that whole thing gets hot. So if you have a lot of herb overhanging the bowl, it's going to be in direct contact with that that plate, and it's going to char over and produce more of that burnt popcorn taste sooner in the session. So you get a better flavor if you keep your herb packed up within the bowl. And I'm vaping at 410. How how do you like to load yours? Are you do you typically do the whole nug me method or I got you... I got two things I do. You you scoop, yes? We just saw you scoop. Yep. Yep. So um and I don't the, use uh... a screen. Some people use a metal screen as well inside their bowl. I don't. I, I just go with the glass screen the glass screen that's already pre installed, yeah. This is the best way to pack it, bar none. Everybody pay attention. It's the most important part of the night. Okay, we're ready to go. That was All right. It. Stick a nugget. That's the best thing you can do to anything. <laughs> Start vaping nuggets, gang. But anyhow, yeah, look, I mean, you just bingo. That's it. And and I'll show you when I do my other one, too. But um, I like to get a little gap here. Um, I don't like any of this to hang down and touch the oven. Uh, that's when you singe. If, if you if you get one of these or you know somebody who gets one of these and they're talking about huh, it always burns the stuff that's because they're overpacking it and it's getting way down here let me show you um also while we're at it um i i like to uh oh not with that one though um i like to uh to go ahead and suck it up myself so suck it up buttercup so you're using the 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 hoover method yeah i hoover it and then uh and then i just kind of gently tamp it, making sure that it's, you know, I've got a gap here. And you see how that, that lip is, there's plenty, of, it's not gonna to touch the bottom. And then, man, I don't have to worry about it singeing or burning. I can just sit there and enjoy the taste the whole time. So uh, that's, those are those are my two preferred ways to get going on it. Um, I'm gonna, uh, oh, by the way, here's another one I found. This is another one, Ed's gorgeous stems. Jeez, these things, I keep finding them and they're awesome. I'm gonna start <laughs> vaping on those. Um, let me uh let me see here so we're gonna oh, oh so anyhow oh also another thing you ought to know is uh this is going to be a tight fit uh, tight fit um all these things have a retention ring in here and there's a, it's a black uh rubber retention ring and the sole purpose of that sucker is to hold onto the stem so it doesn't slip out um it's just there to keep it from falling on you and burning your lap fucking mcdonald's coffee style so um what you just push it in and if it's stiff um, you can turn it on and let it heat up and then it'll work a little better. Uh, but, and mine's not on yet, but anyhow, you just kind of slowly get it in and you can twist it and push it and it'll be fine. And then, uh, this one's a really nice tight fit, but sometimes people get them and they're a little loose and they wonder, is it too loose? Did I get a bad stem? And I go, is, if, if it'll hold it in place when you turn it upside down, you're good. Don't worry about it. You don't need any more than that. That's all we're trying to do with that thing. And it will over time, um, match your stem like these are glass stems so they're all going to be slightly off a little different from each other and so that that the other reason that ring is there is to kind of give the vape away to kind of um mold to your stem so uh you you'll come with two stems and they, they might not fit the same uh but whichever one you use the most is the one that it's going to kind of get used to so i'm going to turn I, this one going when i first got mine uh my my stock stems were so tight that i felt like i was going to break them putting it in like I, okay. I had to warm up my vape just to make it go in a little bit easier 
I remember that's a that lot. With, with my original solo. Like I, I remember my original solo being so damn tight. Did you ever break it? I mean, any, any glass stems? No, I never broke. Well, not that way. I broke, I broke a curved stem because it uh, sitting on my desk. It, it becomes like top heavy. Like you can bump it and it wobbles and falls. I used to, I used to hit it hamster style. Try to keep the 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 herb yeah. off the floor too. You, you could just that. you could just hang that. You could just hang that from your disc. Totally. Um, the air and well, are we? No, that's different. What are we talking about now? I don't want to get ahead of myself. I don't know. We're talking about these batteries. <laughs> we, we talked a lot of bunch of stuff. Some of it may have been out of order from what we originally planned. Yeah, that's all right, Jerry. What do you think about the whole conduction convection hybrid thing? Because this has been argued on the internet for decades now, and I don't want to I don't want to spend the rest of the episode talking about it, and I don't want to I don't want to piss off of or any of the other guys who who have dedicated their lives to the armchair science of of convection conduction internet arguments. But I know I know you have some some uh, theories and some some philosophies about the conduction convection thing. Where do you stand on the Ariser portables? Are they conduction? Are they convection? Are they hybrid? What do you What do you believe? Uh, I call them a a, a mechanical hybrid, uh, whereas the um, stores and Bickle vapes uh, are hybrid by the fact that they're warming the whole thing to a certain temperature and. And yes, your pull brings it up to temperature, but it's still connected. I mean, the bowl is part of the heated heated um, heat exchanger. It's all in one piece. Uh, whereas these are more mechanical. Um, uh, the, the oven heats up. Um, you've got this glass stem. Glass is an insulator. It's not a conductor. It's an insulator. So you stick this in here. And um, I'm putting in a different one now. Uh, you put that in there, and it's and it's not too hot yet. Uh, but it will get hot because now it's it's just sitting in the heat, and even though it's an insulator, it's going to finally get there. Um, if you if you take a herb and stick it in here and just let it sit for the eight minutes and pull it out, it'll be fucking cooked all the way through, and you waste your weed. Um, but the way it was intended to use was to be hit once it gets up to temperature. And when you do that, uh, the oven, uh, the, the, I'll call it the oven, the no, the oven, uh, the bowl, the glass bowl, and the herbs are nowhere near vaporizing temperature when when this says it's ready. The heater below is, and as you pull air through that gets warm from that heater, it pulls the whole temperature of the whole herbs and bowl up to whatever the equilibrium temperature is it's set. And so you pull it up to temperature till it hits it, and then it stays at temp till you're done. And then when you when you quit hitting, it drops down and, and, and waits for you to hit it again. So it it's pretty elegant. I don't think they intended it to be this way at all. I think it was just, hey, let's make a box vape for the road, you know. And uh, but. But it does. It when, when when I when I take temperature probes and I put them in there and I graph the curves, uh, they heat up when you pull and they cool down when you don't. And it's it's pretty pretty elegant and I, I like it and, and it just is great tasting. But that's how they work. That's what the temperature probes do. Um, and we're you know we're we're in a new space, so I like to call them mechanical hybrids because of that. Thank you, mute. I, I really like that. I, 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 I think that's really well worded and, and thought out. Obviously, you've probably been spending a few years polishing that definition. Um, the, the mechanical hybrid aspect defines it and summarizes it nicely for me as well. One of the things I struggle with when, when uh, relating this to other, obviously, hybrid vaporizers is the convection aspect isn't so obvious you know, yeah. you don't you don't necessarily have that convection taste or that convection feel. It it almost tastes more more like conduction, but you get some of the behaviors of both. You know, you get you get some of the behaviors of both. You you get the the vapor doesn't die out as quickly on big hits as it would with a conduction vape, because the air that's coming through the heater is warmed. You know, there's there's warm air going through. And that makes a big difference. It, it, it makes it behave hybrid. And uh, it's clearly not pure conduction. And that's obviously not pure convection. And it's uh, a lot of mix going on. And I, I don't think, 
I, and as much as I love the Arisers, <laughs> I think it's a it's a gem. I really do. I don't think it was designed particularly to perform exactly how it does. Like I don't think anybody ever sat in a in a in a in a, in a notebook planning the the mixture of convection and conduction and radiant heat and thinking of thermal transfer. I, I feel like it was let's find a way to vape weed and make a product that we can sell. This works. You know, <laughs> there, yeah. there, were, there may have been a bunch of, of things like check boxes to hit, you know, like we want it to be glass. We don't, we don't want to have all the, any of that shitty vapor path. So they, they had a bunch of good things going into it, but I don't think they went in there and said, let's, let's build a, a hybrid convection conduction heater where we're going to heat the bowl and then we're going to pump hot air in. That, that wasn't part of their, their equation. Like I feel like stores in Bickle are, are at that level with their vapes, but I don't feel like this is doing that. Totally agree. Totally. I mean, stores in Bickle test shit out, start to finish, vapor at the end. What happened to the cannabinoids? No, man, this literally is a box of vape in your pocket. And they never came out and said that it's a hybrid and, and with all that fucking thought behind it. We were always online going, well, look, if you don't want it to cook in between, just pull the stem out between your hits and then put it back in. And they go, yeah, if you want to work, work, have it work more convection, do it that way. And they just mimic whatever we're saying online. And it was a few years ago that we started dropping the curves. And and um, when we were having that discussion, I, I emailed them and I said, hey, look, man, this is what I think is going on. Is that right? And they go, yep, that's it. And I went, OK, cool. But I'm still not convinced it was by design. <laughs> <laughs> Some things are just luckily great. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah. But by the way. This is blowing my mind, man. This is that nugget. Poof, man, the taste is crazy. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. I'm, I'm going to dump my second bowl here, and I think I will try to vape some whole nuggets. Mm, yeah. You're homegrown, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got uh, I got some homegrown, and I, I I haven't ground it up yet, so it's perfect. It'll be perfect for, for popping into the into the solo, this little, little guy here. That looks good. Oh, that's a little blurry. Good. Where's the little button there? Or do you just want to? Oh, there you go. Oh, nice. That's beauty. Dude, I want to see if you guys can see what I'm hitting here, too. Nice and sticky. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful the way you did that. Whoop, 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 whoop. Whoop. Look at it. It's still there. <laughs> that's 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 a sticky icky boy all right so i'm just gonna take the tip the tip of the the cola. just the tip i'm just gonna put the tip in i'm just gonna smoosh it a little bit do you smoosh it to fit it in there jerry uh no because i don't i don't want it to restrict the airflow and i don't want to have it touch the bottom so i oh, try so. to pick off a piece that's going to fit real nicely and then if i need to smoosh it a little i do okay, okay. you can do what you want there's no wrong or right way here that's just what i've been doing for the years but, you know, like I said, my standard is I don't want that shit touching the bottom. Okay. Well, it's not touching the bottom significantly. I can still breathe through it. I'm going to try it. Super Silver Haze. Uh, so, yeah. I'm, to be honest, I'm not feeling shit. Like, I, I don't feel like a buzz or anything. I don't, no, like I said, we need three or four of these. I'm only on my second bowl here. Yeah, and I think I think that's where this fails the reach test. And, and while it's enjoyable to vape on, it's it's nice to sit here and like yeah, this weed tastes good. It's not it's not medicating me to to a level that I feel like I can achieve with the speed that this thing extracts. Like I feel like I have to vape four or five bowls with this thing to get the effect that I want. But by the time I vape four or five bowls, it's 50 minutes. And 50 minutes in, the first two bowls that I vaped are now wearing off. So it's like due to the, the, the rate at which I can consume and burn through, th this vape is just mathematically inadequate. Yeah, for heavy tolerance guys, I mean, look, I don't, I don't try to give this to heavy smokers that I'm trying to convince vapors going to get them there. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, they're not they're not discreet by any means. Uh, they're not easy to carry around glass stems and the glass can break. Um, wow, so, you know, and, 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 and the ones we've shown so far, not the Argo, but the solos and the in the airs are kind of big. Um, so 
there's plenty to 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 not like um if if any of those things are deal breakers for you but yeah but when it comes to all about the vapor which is typically where i start this is always going to be in the conversation of of, of quality portables because uh, i just love the taste of these things yeah i mean they're really good materials glass stainless steel ceramic in the oven they're really well made the interface is great the maintenance which we haven't talked about by the way the mm -hmm. maintenance is probably one of the easiest vapes to maintain in the long term out of all of the other vapes on the market because you don't really need to do anything with this thing other than dump it out and q-tip it if it gets if it gets filthy when you're done vaping your weed you empty this bowl out and when your stem gets dirty like with honey and and uh little bits when it gets when it gets stained you can do this thing called stem milk <coughs> talk about that where you you heat up some milk throw you, you put your stem in there and you melt melt the melt all the stuff off your stem and it all goes into the milk and then you can add some chocolate and drink the drink the milk and uh have yourself a good night you know you 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 consume all of the things that are in your stem because all of all of this reclaim and, and when you vape for a long time on your solo your your whole stem will turn this reclaimy tan mm -hmm. and all of that reclaimy tan stuff is thc and cannabinoids it will get you high and it's decarbed at least mostly or partially uh already so you can eat it if you can make it biosoluble with some fats like like milk or whatever so simply by putting this in a pan with some hot milk this stuff melts off your stem becomes an edible you consume it you give this a rinse pack a bowl and, and vape by the time you're done vaping that edible is probably going to kick in and uh you'll have a good 10 hour high and your vape is clean again it, it's you get high cleaning your vape it's brilliant dude i only did that once and i thought it was awesome and, and like if i use this vape a lot i do it all the time but that was so much fun and i really did notice the effects from it it cleaned the stem really fucking well <laughs> like i was like oh and i don't have to iso afterwards you know it was yeah, really good rinse it rinse it with yeah. hot water it's good to go good to go that's the way to go man i uh i'm on the solo two now i really love this vape uh, more than the air and the uh, air two and the solo, um, and I I I, uh, I played around for a long time and I land on 404. Uh, actually, 405 is what I have to set it to, um, and then it'll and then it'll drop to 404 for me. And that's my if I want one temp start to finish, that's my fave. Um, gives me all the flavor and the goodies and takes it just far enough to where I'm not going to get any bad taste and I don't mind what's left doesn't bother me. But um, yeah, the, you know, the, the temperatures are tied to Celsius. So when you're on Fahrenheit and you're in one of the in-betweeners, uh, it'll just blip down to the one or up to the one that ties to their Celsius number. So it's it's kind of funny. And uh, it always fucks with me because I'm like, oh, that's not the number I put in there, Mr. Fucking Fahrenheit. So that's funny. That's interesting. Mine just turned off again. I'm going to turn mine back on. So starting the third session and uh, been vaping this nug. How'd you like it? It was tasty, man. The first, <clears throat> the first like three or so hits were just kind of terpy with wispy vapor, but then on the fourth hit to like the seventh or eighth hit, <clears throat> it was really nice. I could taste that that creamy flavor from that super silver haze uh, phenotype that I've been vaping on. Had a lot of that that soda root beer, that cola like overtone, caramelly. I like it. it. Tastes really nice. It, it started to get a little, little toasty towards the end, a little sour, like a little like that bitter, bitter throat feeling. Uh, you get more of that conduction taste towards the end of the bowl with the riser. If you, if you do nugs enough, and you can, you know when that taste is coming, and before it comes, you plop your little, pull your, drop your little nugget out, and then flip it over for the rest of the session. You'll do well because when, when you pull it out, you'll see that one thing about doing it with nugs is you do get one side that's considerably darker than the other. All right, all right, all right. Let's do this. Oh, yeah, look at that. Get 
sitting there. Yeah. There you go. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, see, that's dark there. What happens when you pull it the rest of the way up? I bet you got some green on the top. Yeah, yeah you flip that over and get another few more pulls out of it. And that fucker will be done. Very nice. And after that, after you vape that to done, uh, when you pull it out, just crush it in your hands. It should be vaped all the way through. Okay. I raised it from 410 to 424 as well. Hopefully I can catch a buzz or something. That'd be nice. <laughs> Somebody said it in here, man. This is the, this is the soberest uh, think tank yet, man. It's kind of funny, man. We did a bowl before we started too, man. It's not all the risers' fault. <laughs> <laughs> right, and I, and I, I like I like I said, man. I don't. It comes up a lot. Like people ask, people ask, like like, hey, I'm thinking about buying the solo or the edge. I usually tell them like, if if you're thinking about the solo, buy the fucking solo. Like if that's one of the vapes that you're considering, it's probably a sign. It's a really good vape. Don't don't judge me not using it as a means of you not buying it. Because I'm not an accurate representation of, of most cannabis users anymore, you know? Yeah, no, you're right. I mean, my, my question usually is how much weed do you usually vape or smoke? I mean, if they vape, I need to know how much they vape. If they smoke, well, how much you smoke and you can give me an idea. If they don't vape at all, fucking yes. Great first vape. It'll get you high for years. You know what I mean? It really will. I mean, I, I this was my portable for years when I was first started vaping. So um, uh, the Solo One was the early one that I hit. So, um, yeah, they'll, they'll do great. Like I said, for most people on that, but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to hit a couple more of these. <laughs> One thing we didn't talk about and uh, I didn't plan ahead for, uh, was concentrates doing concentrates in, in, the the riser air or the solo. Yep. I I've tried it and you do get an additional high. Like you can get a, a more, more high from putting concentrates in your herb like a little sandwich like put it put a little herb and then put a little concentrate and then put a little more herb if you put too much it's going to melt down into your your oven so you got to be really light on concentrates with the portables Um, but i also found that it's also not as effective and efficient as a lot of other portables are with the same method you'll end up with more honey reclaim very fast, mm-hmm. very mm-hmm. fast with concentrates, which means a lot of a lot of your concentrates aren't going in your lungs; they're going in your in your stem. I just don't think there's enough uh, thermal thermal uh, intensity at the vaporization point for concentrates to work effectively alongside dry herb with the Ariser portable dry herb vaporizers. Yeah, I'm with you. I think you said it well, and I don't have a whole lot to add. Uh, if if you're into concentrates, I don't think this is the one for you. This is a drier vape and a very good one. But yeah, uh, yeah I don't, I don't give up. I, although I think I've had some luck maybe with hemp fiber before. You know, a little hemp fiber with a little little bit in there. That's probably the best I've had is some because then it really does get to spread out and get through. But um, but even then, it, it wasn't it wasn't great. So um, it's it's a it's a session as opposed to a dab kind of thing. Um, I need to uh, I need to get serious. And um, Ed Stems hold more. <laughs> so I'm going to get busy. There you go. Do you have any Ed? You don't have any Ed Stems. I don't have any Ed Stems. I have a water pipe adapter. Which I'm, I'm going to christen this booty, beauty right here, man. This is just gorgeous. I have this this third-party water pipe adapter from Puff It Up. How big is that, Paul? Is it bigger? I think it's the same size, but it has these little grooves cut on the outside. So here I can. So it should get a little bit yeah, more airflow. More airflow. That looks like it came from Planet Vape with the cuts on it, just like mine. Probably, I think. He might have brought them in from there. Yeah, those are great. I hope you can see this Ed stem. I hope it focuses well. How can I do these? Like correct. Is it correct? That's gorgeous. It's amazing. And it's it's even better in person. It's got that luminescence type shit going on. Illuminati? Possibly. Oh, yeah, it's a much bigger bowl, man. Look out. Here we go. That's how I was getting by for that extra year, man, as I was using the big fucking bowl. Mm, I'm back in this solo, too. Oh, dude, this is. So we should we should differentiate 
what the difference because there's there's five there's five portables now, right? There's there's five portables on the market made by a riser. And they all function kind of the same. They all use the same glass stem and they all use they don't wait, they all they all don't use the same glass stem, but they all use a glass stem with the built-in bowl. They all use the same heater technology, the same vapor path. They all taste and perform the same. Yet there are some differences and there are five of them on the market. Five of them. The original Air and the original Solo, which you both, you, you vaped on, I think you vaped on the, the OG Solo. In the OG Air, yeah. Okay. And now the Solo too. My, my OG Air and my OG Solo are both still in use by people who only have those, those vapes. And they love them. They don't have any other vaporizer and they don't consume any other method unless they have friends over. That's when they smoke. But when they, they, they vape at home by themselves, they're using the Ariser Air and the Ariser Solo that they've had for years on loan from Troy, from 420 Vape Zone. The Air and the Solo use the same stem, but one that I, I haven't mentioned yet, you mentioned it, is the Argo. And the Argo stem, it, the Argo is the only one that, that kind of breaks from the, the, the dick in your pocket shape and, and goes to more of a deck of cards where the stem is smaller and is concealed within the body of the vape. And the Argo has this little feature where there's like a mouthpiece concealing spring out thing, which is kind of cool, kind of cool, kind of different. It's very simple, very simple. You can carry it like this and it just looks like a battery. And you want it, when you want to vape, you can just boop. There you go. Now you got your mouthpiece. You know, vape a bowl on the, on the Argo now. The Argo, the Argo stem is a little more narrow and a little more tall like the bowl is a little taller but overall i think the vaping experience is pretty much the same the the argo has a removable 18650 battery similar to the air and the air 2 both the air and the air 2 have removable batteries but the solo and the solo 2 do not have removable batteries the Air 2 and the Solo 2 both have full, precise temperature control, like from 200 to 450 or 446, I believe, 464. I forget what the maximum temperature is. But the newer models, the Air 2, Solo 2, and the Argo, all have full temp control, while the Solo, the OG Solo, and the OG Air just have preset temperatures. Air 2, Solo 2, Argo also have the improved oven with little cuts so you get more easy airflow, more convection-y style vaporization. Am I on mute? No, you're doing right. great. Um, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just really enjoying this bigger bowl. Uh, Ed, man, you got to send a stem to Troy. I think he's gonna like this bigger bowl on here. I love Ed. I'm gonna vape. I'm gonna vape a bowl in the Argo. The Argo is. One oh, yeah. sixty-eight. Is that right? I don't know, man. These guys are always changing the fucking prices. Um, I looked it a up. Riser's, a riser is good about keeping the prices, enforcing them. But man, if they don't fucking change them all the time, and you never know what they're going to do. But um, here's the deal: the the solo and the air are almost always the same price. Fuck, man! I'd get the air if it were me um really because yeah i mean i I've, I've had all five of them side by side by side by side by side multiple times and i don't notice any difference in the fucking vapor um the, i mean it may be minimally somewhere but it's just if, if there's a difference it's so slight it don't matter so um i think they all vape the same if i was going cheap i'd probably get the air um the most popular one is a solo too that's the one that sells the best everybody loves that thing and I think it's for two reasons. One, they see the battery life, and it's the only one that heats up uh, fast. I mean, it heats up in 30 seconds or, or 40 seconds. 40, really 45 quick. seconds. Yeah, it gets right up in there. So, uh, whereas the Argo, I think, will take a minute to a minute 20 on the highest temps or something like that. So, um, the Argo is not slow, the Solo is faster. But um, in my opinion, I can't wait to hit the Argo. I'm going to do this next. Uh, the Argo is the one to get. It's the one that Ariser, I feel like it's the portable they always should have made. Um, 
you still get the glass stem, but now it's not this extra carry around. It's it's protected, so it's the only one that's really pocketable. Um, it's it's got the most uh, features as far as you know. They all have the same interface on the new one. For some reason, the Argo I think is the only one that'll let you do the the startup timer at two seconds. Uh, the Solo two and the Air two only let you get down to four seconds. And on the on the on the Argo, I make sure it's that one because I'm gonna turn it on and make sure. Uh, yeah, they'll do it in two seconds. It's, the only, it's really weird. It's like all the software is the same across the board, except for that one little feature on that one thing. Are you sure? Um, I'm pretty yeah. sure I have my solo set to. My solo two only goes down, but well, if yours, mine was oh, one you're of the right, first you're ones. right. It only goes to four. All right, fuck. And, and the Air 2 is the same way. Obscure Vape Trivia with Jerry. We should we, That could be a segment of our show. We should do Vape Trivia. I was shocked when I saw, well, I get a vape and I try to test every fucking thing. Cause, and, and, and when I run across something like that, it stands out. I'm like, what the fuck do they do that for? I want two seconds on all of them. I remember the, uh, the air, uh, the air has a feature where if you're taking this apart, if you, if you, if you take this apart, you can't get it back together completely. Like if you take, if you take it down, if you take it apart to a certain level, you can no longer put it back together. It's like an anti tampering thing that like, it's like one of those things where if you remove the metal, you can't put it back on unless you have the machine that they use to put that metal on. <laughs> yeah, I believe that. Um, in fact, can I share my screen? Yes, please do. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can do this. Uh, oh, here it is. Oh, you got to let me. Yeah, if you let me, I think you have to enable it for me. Try now. I want this. And... All right. So do you see this Instagram post here? Yes. Okay, cool. So there's the bowl. This is uh, the uh, thermocouple, I believe. Um, or, because I think, uh, no, that must be the heater. Here's a ceramic spacer and some a mica. And then uh, I can't remember what that is. That might be mica as well. And these things all just, they're in the order that they're, that they're together sandwiched. Like this is at the end, then this, then this, then that, then that, and then that, and then that. And so it's this big old stack. And uh, let me see, I've got some other pictures on here too. Yeah, so that's the mica parts that are the furthest away from the bowl. And then there is the, uh, yeah, that looks like the heater. And then this must be where the thermocouple was. Is the thermocouple was right here on this spacer. And then it, that went right up against that. Um, is there another one in there? Is that it? Yeah. So anyhow, that, that's what the heater looks like inside. Um, I'll stop sharing now. Uh, and they're all the same, every fucking one of them. So it doesn't really matter which one you get. That's the tech you're getting. It's very simple tech. Uh, no, nothing complicated about these things. They're just good. Right on. Right on. Nice and tasty. I, I, I want to say, like, I, I want to reiterate the Argo. Uh, the Ar Argo was the first... A riser vape that I was actually excited about to have and to test, uh, and I I really did like testing it. Like when I I, I would go outside of the house intentionally, you know, when I, I would go out and run errands, and I would I would make sure that I would vape some bowls, and I would go meditate at the park, and I would vape some bowls. I love carrying the Argo because it was pocketable. The Solo and the Air, I I could never imagine carrying this in my pocket. Nope. I know I know they have belt holsters and I know you wear them Jerry and every I day I don't mean to tease you <laughs> but I'm not going to carry I'm not going to carry this thing around on my on my belt with a holster this thing can fit in in a front pocket with one stem loaded and a riser was nice nice enough to give you these little tubes with the second stem so you get two stems with the vape the second stem you can carry in this tube loaded up with another fresh bowl and just have this in your pocket like have a a, a, a freshie waiting for you to ready to go so if you want to vape a bowl and then you want to have two pull it out put, put your second stem in it's a cool little feature and then they they even sell like a five pack of stems with a little carrying case where you can carry five stems preloaded have the whole day's worth man if 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 the if the Ariser 10 minute session bowl is your style and you're not a vassier, if you're not looking for going down the rabbit hole of buying 10 vapes over the next three years, I'd probably go Argo too. Not, I love yeah, I like it. 
TOO as well. I, I, also, I find it, also. I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued that they still have the, that was an accidental camera switch, by the way, Adam just going with it. I'm, I'm intrigued that Ariser decided to keep the Air 1 and the Solo 1 on the market. Like, I, I feel, I feel like that would, uh, detract from the solo two and air two, but maybe it actually reinforces it. Like, what the fuck do I know? I don't know, man. Um, I mean, the solo, th th they have a place. I mean, because they can keep the price down on them. Yeah, uh, and no. I mean, gosh, man, you can get them for like 115 usually almost any time. Even less than that on like 420s, you can get them down to like 90 something dollars. And yeah, so uh, the, the air is 114 and the solo is 108. Listen, every single time I grab every vape I own that's under 150 bucks and line them up and hit them, the solo wins <laughs> in terms of just the vapor that I want to hit of that group. You know, uh, it's just tasty. I love it, man. So um, th that price is stupid. Uh, the other three are usually all the same price, like around like 170, 180, depending on the season. Um, I, don't, I can't keep up with them. But uh, no, I'm with you, man. Like if you're going to get one of the newer ones, I want the Argo. If you look, compare the Argo to some of these things, check this out. Um, here's, uh, what do I got back here? Well, here's the Argo next to a, a Pax. A um, little shorter, a little wider, not quite twice as wide. Um, there was some other, oh, the Da Vinci's. Uh, it's basically... A little bigger than the IQ here. It's a little shorter, but a little wider than the IQ2. This is the IQ2. So it really is. I mean, look, you can you can totally conceal if you wanted, if you got, you know, medium to bigger size hands. So it's pretty cool, man. And uh, like you said, it's it's pocketable. Um, for those of us who are not concerned about, about how we appear, um, you know, they do have the holster. That, that carries a solo two and a stem right there. And... Uh, you can wear that with pride, folks, because it comes with the vape. Look at that. Pay extra uh, for that. You don't have to pay extra for it, man. It comes with. Comes with it. Comes with it. And a riser packaging is also really nice. Crazy like nice. compared to all the other vaporizers, a riser has like the best packaging. Like yeah. when you open up an a riser, the new stuff, the the solo two and the air two and the argo, the old stuff wasn't wasn't as nicely packaged, but the new stuff is fucking killer like it feels like it feels like apple like when you're opening it up it's like whoa like this is an experience like everything is like got the little magnetic l latches and the stems are in the little tubes and it's it's fun to unbox and if and, and i kept all the packaging for all all of those products like i still have all the packaging i'm with you man it's beautiful um they I, we get we get people i, I they come up and they're like, hey, where do I get more of those plastic tubes? And I'm like, you mean the stems? No, the plastic ones, the stems go in. Like, they're, they're that nice that people use them as a carry around and want the accessories. So, yeah, yeah. these things? Yeah, exactly. That's it, man. Yeah. These are fucking awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm pulling my, uh, my Argo up now. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I really, the um, edge stem on the Solo 2 was was nice for an accelerator um it got hotter i, I think the glass stem was cooling it better mostly because it's probably less less everything less vapor less intensity the whole nine yards and that, that stem's got a big bowl on it so um but at the, at the normal i would probably drop the temp down a little bit maybe from my normal 404 down to about 390 and then take it all the way there but uh man that big bowl was a pleasure to hit man Nice. <clears throat> yeah, the the risers were were fun to hit. Really tasty. And you know, I when I think when I think of, of the tastiest vapes, like if I if I were to acquire a, a, a unique strain or a fun strain and I wanted to taste it in the best tasting vapes, I, I feel like a riser, one of the portables, deserves a spot on there. Because it's it's true to taste compared to a lot of other vapes. I love them, I really do. I wish I wish I wish I used them more. I wish they had bigger bowls. That's all. I wish they had bigger bowls. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. I would, I, I, the same, but I, I I mean I don't know that a bigger bowl would actually solve it, because 
it, it goes back to like the the healthy rips fury 2 and the fierce so like the fury 2 great little vape that that little 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 uh heater perfect perfect companion with that bowl did the same thing in the planet of the vapes one it's it's an amazing companion when healthy rips scaled that up to the fierce it didn't scale well like mm. it, it just it didn't the, the the even taking the heater and making it x amount bigger at, at the same ratio as the bowl increase it just didn't work in it as well as the smaller version of it mm. so i feel like the riser may run into the same thing dynavap too Maybe, but again, I don't think they should make it. I mean, it wouldn't sell that well. It, you and I would have them. The guys in the chat would have them. People who dab, would, they're not going to, you know, I mean, they're not going to buy this thing uh, as is. But the, the big one, maybe. But again, it wouldn't be many of them out there. I mean, we're the, we're the heavy users. Um, for, for most people out there, these things hit the mark, man. So do, do you think Arisers and these portables, uh, have a place in the collection for heavy hitters like let's if, if there's let's say there's a heavy hitter out there right now who you know they're already they're already vaping on the the sticky brick they're hitting they're hitting the ssv 43 and they're they're vaping you know a couple grams a day do you think the ariser solo the ariser air the argo has any place in their collection no yeah i'd agree with you not unless they want to share or they want to just take a tolerance break. To, you know, I was just about to say, <laughs> have a session that doesn't fuck them up. But yeah, take a tea break. I will all have been hitting this. If you just this Argo for this month. <laughs> if you just want to have a vape for your car. <laughs> yeah, there you go, man. Something that you don't want to get too crazy with. Oh, uh, that's fucking fun. Do we need a dab? They're, they're talking about it too in the chat, man. We need a dab. We need to get caught up a little bit here. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna retire my. Ariser portables for the rest of this session and uh, step it on up. Step it on up. This is the Troy and Jerry show. I feel like I have enough 50% vote to to say I'm going to pull out my SSV43 right now. Right? Well, in that case, I got a hot <laughs> Herborizer over here. I'll join you, man. I, I'll start I doing some the, stackers. The Ariser shirt, man. I don't have one of those, man. That's nice. I, like yeah, I forgot that I had it. I was, I was, I had to go ch upstairs and change before before we started because I got all sweaty today. I got all sweaty in my 420 vape zone shirt in the garage, and then mm. uh, I was upstairs changing. I'm like, oh shit! I have an Ariser shirt. I can actually wear an Ariser shirt. That's cool, man. I gotta get one. <laughs> I have a I have a Boundless shirt too. So if we ever get Eric or somebody from Boundless on the show. I can go ahead and lose like 30 pounds and then the boundless shirt will fit me right and then I can wear a boundless shirt on our on our episode with boundless. It'll be like prom all over again, man. It'll be great. <laughs> all right, yeah, it's um, time it's time to get a little fade going. Yeah, I'm going to start putting in uh some some of my heavies. Uh, I love this stuff here, man. This is the best stuff I can get. This stuff from one plant here in Florida, man. I think I told you before, man. It's fantastic. It's expensive. But it's so good. This it's the only shit that gets me high in the state. Mm, <laughs> nice. As far as dispensaries go, I'm I'm glad you're finding stuff that uh, can get you get you high. Yeah, it's good. It's good. There's good stuff here, man. All right, so I got I thought I had a good pre buzz. That was a good pre game. That was a good pre game. Pre game. Ariser, the pre game of heavy hitters. Okay, I just found a place for it in the collection, guys. It's a pre gamer. How about a nice wake and bake? If wake and bake is your thing, that might be a nice wake and bake. You don't want to hit break out the SSV43 or the Herborizer first thing in the morning. Of course you do, Troy. <laughs> <laughs> Troy's like, can't agree with that. Clearly, you didn't watch my wake and bake stream today. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking awesome. <laughs> I turned into a deer, Jerry. I turned into a deer today. That sounds great. Yeah, dude. Anybody who's hitting that <laughs> motherfucker. I mean, look, look, you <laughs> what portables do you hit? The mighty, the Terra. I'm on like things like Tiny Might. Um The Tiny Might'll do it. 
it's it's got to be a it's got to be for me the really good portables when when you have a really heavy tolerance, the ones that have that signature are those on-demand convection homemade artisan. There's just something about them. There's just something about that fucking signature, man. That's you know different. I can get I can get high with small portables too. Like I can vape two or three Dynavet bowls in a row in twelve minutes and get get a good real good high going on that's true that's the other one and it's a great experience i can get i can vape two bowls with the fury two or a planet of the vapes one or a fury edge you know i can i can do two bowls in a row with those and and feel good i can do two bowls in the mighty and and get 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 good two volt two two bowls in the solo aren't the same as two bowls Uh in the mighty or two bowls in the in the fury edge i don't know No, i just did four of them and it didn't quite do it right all right. Anyway, the show's over, and now it's time to vape. <laughs> vape some weed. This is a, a riser part cut. Now we're back on to. Now we're into faded. This is faded. Can we play faded now? It's time for faded. Oh, I forgot about faded. That was a fun, fun idea, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That nice looked yummy. Good. That looked yummy. All right, I'm turning my my Argo off. Green to white technology. You know, I was just about to grind these things and I just, I can't do it. They're so pretty. You're gonna go in there as whole little nuggets, guys. Back in the air riser. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You see, That's even like taste to a whole different level, man. Mm-hmm. You know, like the the, the it was a riser portables. It's a great taste. You get a, you. It's a nice, satisfying hit. Like I was never not satisfied while vaping. Please reiterate that. Like while vaping, Jerry puffing on the solo too. I never felt like ah, this isn't enough. It felt nice. Tasted mm-hmm. nice. It was satisfying. I just didn't get high. <laughs> Well, yeah, and, and and you won't get the same taste as well because there's not as much weed in it. I mean, the, the limitations to the bowl size hit on multiple levels. It's not just it doesn't get me as high quickly. You're not going to get as intense a taste. There's not as much flavor coming through. That. I mean, man, Troy, you just don't know what you're doing to yourself, man. Like, I told you this is going to happen. You're not going to want to vape anything else. I know. That's how it works. I know. I know. Crazy fucker. All right. Oh, so let me show you what I got going on here. This is, uh, these are my little nugs, uh, strategically placed and pressed. Is that, why is that not hooking for me? I think I'm doing a good job here. What am I doing wrong here, Troy? What are you trying to do? I'm trying to show you my nugs. Trying to show you your what? My nugs. I, I see it. It focused. Right. I couldn't get the focus, but okay. So, Herber Riser, Herber Riser. Oh, should I put some? Is that too high? I'm putting too much in. I really am trying to get disciplined about not putting too much in this thing because that's when you get the little bit of singe. You know, Jerry, I I turned my SSV43 down a little bit after, mm-hmm. I think, last week. Look, look how low it is. That's like 10.30. Yeah, yeah. What did you used to have it on? Like noon. Oh, that's way up. Yeah, okay, cool. So uh, are you getting less singe? I'm getting less singe. I'm getting a lighter ABV, and I'm getting three hits per bowl instead of one and a half. It's, you know, you're going to – this is what's going to happen, dude, is you're going to – well, at least this is what I did, is you – you bounce back and forth, you know what I mean? And, and you do it, you do it hard and fast for a while. And then you come back and go, Oh, I like the session. And it's not really a session, but three to three, three hits to one is a session. You know, I like the session. I like the flavor, you know, and you'll, you'll just kind of, you'll go back and forth. And, and I, I sometimes find myself doing it on different vapes, like not just through phases, but you know, uh, every vape I go through, it's kind of like that. So I'm getting to the phase now with my herborizer to where I'm itching to back it down get my gap back between the heater and the herb and, and have a longer flavorful session instead of a full extraction, hard and fast. Cause I can do that with this thing. But. I've been noticing that 
I think I get a little more medicated vaping in three hits versus one and a half. It's not as intense on the rise, but I feel like the longer term effect is more. It that should. Is. Yeah. I mean, I, you're I, when you turn the temp down, you're probably destroying fewer terps. Yeah. So I would expect a little better overall, but not as intense, you know, like you said. Yeah. Yeah. And by by taking three hits instead of two, I may be potentially allowing my lungs to absorb more than two hits would allow because my lungs are only going to absorb like 50% of whatever cannabinoids I inhale. So there's a you know, point yeah. that machine returns. That's a good term for it, diminishing returns. Wait till you start going low temperature with nuggets. It's going to be dope. Your mouth is going to just melt into itself in terpy pleasure. It's nuts. Terpy pleasure, mouth, me, not mouth, melt, melt, mouthing. Damn it, mouth, mouth, melting. Hey, good terpy. news. Sorry, terpy pleasure, mouth melting, mouth melting, terp pleasure. Have you want to, have you want to roll it out, man? Fuck yes. Nugs and the airbrizer, man. That's where it's at. Yep. 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 So, Jerry, stand over here. Yeah. Do we have a, do we have a planned show for next week? No. I knuckle. We're... We're on. We're, on, we're we're doing a show now, though. We are. <laughs> we can roll it in next week. The uh, well, shit. I, I think we're close to close enough to where I can mention it. Um, we we bump this show up, guys. The show that we were going to do tonight that we had to bump for other reasons is uh, the one I've been dying to talk about. Uh, we should be really close to launch here for for the Taffy Bowl, and uh, I can't, can't wait to show you all about it. So um, I don't know if we'll be able to pull that off next week, but that's that. We I hope that's coming real soon, real soon, because it was going to be tonight, um, and you guys are going to love that thing. So anyhow, um, yeah. So no, how about you guys in the chat? I don't think it's next week. Is it? It was going to be tonight. Right, but now, now, didn't he say that we we can't even talk to us until after next week? I, I don't know. I got to get back with him. I, he was. Uh, I got to get back with him now that I'm getting back in the saddle. Back in the saddle. Amen, amen, amen. But it's coming soon. It's coming soon. So good. Uh, and I also want to want to talk about the Riser EQ in an episode. Yes. I wanna, because I think I think the EQ can stand in its own episode. We can we can talk about the EQ and how it compares with other desktops. You know, I think I think we can do that. And if if all else fails, we can even do that next week. You know. I could do that, man. I mean, honestly, that is their heavy hitter. You know what I mean? So, I mean, we just we just beat them up for not being heavy hitters. They got a heavy hitter, so you yeah. know, we should we should give that some credit. That's true. That's true. And and I don't I don't think we were giving Ariser any hate tonight. Just well, that was our main criticism. Yeah. Yeah. Word. Um. Yeah, I'm back on here. Gosh. Hey, you guys in the chat, man. You guys, any of you guys vaping nugs? How many of you guys are vaping nugs these days? So I want to know. Yeah, let us know. Leave a leave a comment as well if you're watching this uh, post live. If you're if you're watching this after we, we've gone live, leave a comment down below and let us know how, if you're vaping nugs or, or grind. Jerry's always pushing people to try vaping nugs. Just try it. Just try it. Vape them. Vape them. Like just like lesbianism. Just try it. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> How about coughed and you're real good. <laughs> oh. oh shit. All right, Jerry. I'm gonna send it out with one last green to white technology bowl. Right on, man. Cheers. Oh man, I can't wait till you're doing nuggets. Come on, Jimbo, do some nugs with me. Come on, Lord. Got to do some nugs here, man. I know Hawaii Johnny's doing some nugs. Yeah, look what all you guys. We got to do some nugs, man. I'm telling you, vaping nugs. We'll have to uh, we'll have to add that to the list of 
like you know i have to dab at times now we got to do that uh tipsy i don't know what vape you're using but um I, it doesn't really matter but i like to start low just because you can and it's so flavorful the most important thing about vape and nugs guys is you just got to change your expectations that's all uh you got to know that you're going to get two or three hits that are going to going to really mash you for terps but you're not going to see dick uh but you'll but but you will start to um experience and appreciate the terp rush that you don't get at the higher temperatures when it's all mixed when you get those those just full-blown terp low temp hits that oh man they're great so the nugs are perfect for that so expect a more of a session run um if you have a vape like this where you can um stir and and and, and crush with a, a stir tool you don't have to pull it out and do it with your hands that's even better uh so anyhow man it's good stuff man nice that's good stuff on tim that's right jonathan Tur yeah terp terp rush that's a good it's a good term i like that yeah man amar uh, knows what's up he's using his argo and nugs i heard terp tongue you get terp tongue yes that 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 burn almost on the tongue yeah yeah it's funky man you gotta oh, be careful thing. with that with that terpy vapor you blow that terpy vapor out your nose man <laughs> no 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 i don't blow any vapor out my nose because every time i do it i uh i mean i want to because i understand that you can get more out of it but man it's just uh-uh <laughs> i don't like how it feels i i do it out of habit sometimes often uh especially with with really thick vapor and uh, really thick exhales like sometimes i just like i get so engulfed with the exhale that i just like open up all my cavities phrasing facial cavities open up all my facial cavities <laughs> and i just feel like the vapor come out i don't know I, I i like it but then it makes me sneeze especially if it's thick ass thick ass vapor well i'm talking about full-on exhaling out the nose like when i take a big hit it's always coming out of both yeah i don't even notice it but it does but when I when I take a big hit and I just try to only ex exhale at the nose, fuck that noise, fuck that noise. Oh, I didn't stir this. Did I stir this? I don't know if I stirred this. Jerry, we've been yeah. playing a new game that you need you need to get in on, man. Tell me about it. It's called Golf with Your Friends, and it's on Steam. You can play it on a Mac or a PC, and it's virtual mini golf with physics and collisions. And it's fucking awesome. And we've been getting high and playing mini golf every day for the last few weeks. And uh, we got a good 15, 20 people playing uh, at times. We're, we're, we're going to start organizing some 420 Vape Zone gaming tournaments and uh, game nights and things like that in the 420 Vape Zone Discord. So, yeah, you should get this golf with your friends and join us. It's, it's a lot of fun. Kenny from Sticky Brick Labs has been playing. He's a, he's a golf guru. He's... Mm -hmm. He's a bit of a in real life too, or I don't know. I don't know. I remember it's like his second calling. He's he's really good, like scary good sometimes. Dude, I gotta I gotta check that out then. I the only things I understood that you said were uh, mini golf, PC, uh, weed, and awesome. So I'm I'm in, but um, you just have to tell me what to do because uh, I didn't understand all that other steampunk stuff you were talking about steampunk so, i don't know i don't do pc gaming so you'll have to hold my hand for a minute but i'd love to that sounds fun man I used, dude i used to play uh i used to play dude how many of you guys out there used to play um pga tour golf on the sega genesis back in like 90 90 91 and um i used to fucking beat the hell out of that game it was so much fun I go to school, I go to work, I go back to the house and play that fucker till I fell asleep. And uh, I was living in the 20 under pars in these tournaments and it was fun. I don't know if you, any of you guys ever play that shit. So yeah, I, I'd love to play man. That, Cause I, that was fun, man. That Let's go play right now. Uh, oh, right now. How Jeez. long does it take? It's, it's probably gonna take you 15 minutes to download it. Uh-huh. I don't know how much it is. I think it's like ten bucks. I'll buy it for you if you're if you're too poor. Oh, all right. I like that. Somebody bought it for me, so I feel like I'm paying it forward. 
Oh, right on. I like that. Oh, That's even no, better. I think now I've bought it for a few people already. So it's... Oh, it's one of those chain letter pay it forwards. <laughs> Hey, you what should play this shit. game with me so I can whoop your ass. <laughs> That's what you it. like. <laughs> it's called the Troy Domination Game, man. Let him just, whatever he sends you, beat the hell out of you on. <laughs> That's fucking funny, No, but man. it's a lot of fun, man. And it's really good community building. There's a lot of cool people playing. Nice. Uh, it's good times, man. All right, cool. Well, I'll definitely get into it at some point here. Uh, I We're right about where I said I was going to check in and see what's going on downstairs. Um, but... Uh, well, let's let's at least uh, get me set up so I'm ready, man. That'll be dope, man. Excellent. You, you can tell me what to download. Let's get you set up. Are we uh, are we done here, or what are we up to, man? Yes, I just stopped the recording, and I think we're done streaming. So I'm gonna hit the after party, and I'm I'm still not super high. I'm 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 high, but yeah, um, I'd like to get a little, little more. I'd like to get a little, little party boy in me. Oh, yeah, that didn't sound right either. Damn, with the phrasing today. Jeez. No, you're good, man. That wasn't out of bounds. Well, maybe. Like, I, mean, I think if I were to like transcribe that one, it would it would read as something. Anyway. Right on. <laughs> well, I'm sure the guys will forgive you in chat. Uh, by the way, you guys chat are dope, man. I love you. Tell me more about the Nuggets as you get into it, man. You're gonna do that shit. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Thank you everyone for watching along with us for session along with us this happy Friday. Stay happy out there. Stay high out there. Stay positive. Drink plenty of water. Drink water until your pee is clear. That's my advice. Mm, what, right. what color is your pee, Jerry? I, a little darker than normal. It's usually, I just it, somebody mentioned that the other day, and I was like, "Wait a minute," because mine's been like I'm usually very clear because I'm really hydrated, but lately I haven't been drinking as much. So uh, here I go. Yeah, better drink some water. Drink that water. No, we're not done streaming. No, I guess we're not done streaming. But we're going to... I'm going to go to the Discord. I'm going to go to the Discord Zoom. So... What do you mean we're not done streaming? No, I mean... We're, I, we technically didn't, didn't click stop stream, so... You did click stop, but it's still going? No, well, I didn't. I didn't. I have my mouse on it. Uh, it's a weird thing to do when when I'm not the only one talking. like Because I never know. Like, like, if I say something like, Well, thanks for watching. Bye-bye now. And like I go to click it, and then you're like... And by the way, you know, like, like when we were doing modern cannabis, that happened all the fucking time. Really? It's like somebody would be like, Troy, you're the one with the fucking button. Remember, dude? And it's like, I right, do remember that. Right. I remember. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye. You know, and then he would snap in with, with a bunch more shit. You did it to me and Austin did it to me. And then I did it to myself. And then I would I would say goodbye. And then I would ask questions to somebody else. Like, it, it, it's it's a weird thing once you have this, the, the control to hit stop. 